was our business editor, Devin Murugan, uh, telling us about what uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa was saying at that industrialist summit. All right now, Transport Minister Figilem Balula and Prasa Board briefed the media this morning on interventions made to recover and stabilize the ailing organization. Following years of mismanagement and allegations of corruption, the minister provided an account of the agency's reconstruction and recovery program. Balula says they've prioritized 10 commuter rail corridors so far. Let's go to ENCA, um, ENCA's business uh, anchor, Rafua Matsena, who uh, was at that particular press briefing to give us more details. Now, Rafua, uh, two major issues have been unpacked, Spanish locomotives and security at Prasa. What's the update there? That's right, Masako. We are at the Kudusport uh, station in Pretoria, one of the 10 corridors, as you rightly mentioned, that Prasa is focusing on refurbishing. So that process almost complete here. Yeah? We were told about 90% complete, and in September we will see the railways filled with trains once more. What we're waiting to get is some transformers that are being imported from overseas. So the two big issues you've just asked about are the Spanish locomotives as well as the security at Prasa. So the Spanish locomotives issue, they clarified to say that they were never too tall for the railway lines, nor were they ever going to destroy any bridges uh, when uh, traveling. The issue was that these are powered by uh, diesel and the uh, fumes from the diesel was the fear that they had in terms of inf um, impacting the electrical infrastructure above the trains. So that has always been the problem. Another thing is that they have been to Spain. They say that they've had a look at the remaining trains that are in Spain and they are still uh, finding out how they're going to be incorporating them onto our railway lines. All of the issues that were earlier indicated or communicated to the media, Masajo, they say are reversible. So they are able to change the direction in which the diesel fumes goes so that the electrical infrastructure is not impacted when they are running on the lines. The security issue you'll remember in 2019 uh, dozens of contracts had to be cancelled because they were found to be irregular security contracts that is and so that left the railway infrastructure exposed uh, to all sorts of crime and vandalism which exacerbated during the hard lockdown we are told that this particular uh, corridor was completely dilapidated and work needed to start basically from scratch what they've done now is they've done an internal a hiring of security guards, 3,100. This number will obviously increase as more corridors come to the fore. And we've also been told that there will be new contracts that are created with security providers. So there will be a partnership that is created between uh, PRASA, um, internal security members, as well as uh, contracted members, which we did actually see uh, um, hovering around, or rather... Uh, uh, monitoring the space. There was also some drones that are here. Um, Prasa initiating some technological advancements to make sure that uh, all of Prasa's sites are adequately uh, secured. All right, Rafua, so Prasa has been a thorn on government side and in fact quite a huge problem to the South African taxpayer. We haven't seen a lot of accountability uh, so far. Did they react at all to the fifth and last volume of the state capture um, inquiries report, uh, you know, having mentioned Prasa so much? That's actually a very interesting question, Masako, because the State Capture Commission report, just to give the viewers some context or remind them, recommended that a state inquiry or inquiry commission uh, be instated to look at the dealings and goings on of PRASA over the last decade or so to see what exactly went wrong and who is to account, apart from the obvious names that we've seen in the report, uh, Lucky Montana being one of them. So. Minister Figile Mbalula is saying that the board is more than happy with the way that uh, PRASA has uh, uh, changed its structure and the policy document, the national policy, uh, the railway policy document that's been developed and the plans to uh, really just change the face of PRASA. They're happy with the process that they are um, embarking on and he says there's no need for a commission into PRASA. What needs to happen is that uh, investigations need to be conducted as they have been internally and legally and 
and of course uh, people need to end up in overalls. And just a quick one before we hear from the Minister Masako, we had about 44 people that were going through DC hearings um, at Prasa. We've had 19 people who've either been dismissed, uh, who've re received final written warnings or ha who have received warnings. There are some legal cases that are pending. The Hawks and the SIU have been roped in to look at a different uh, contracts that came to the fore, uh, the local motive funds uh, like uh, Shifambe, uh, Siangena with the ticketing uh, and entrance system as well, that being looked into, as well as worksmen's attorneys, Masejo. Now, they were hired to investigate malfeasance, and we are hearing now from the chair, uh, chairperson of Prasa that worksmen uh, was inflating the prices that it was charging for its services, allegedly. So there is currently a report into that as well. Uh, but here's what the minister had to say about a commission being initiated to look into Prasa. Zondo Commission recommend a commission of inquiry. Prasa doesn't need a commission of inquiry. It needs total focus, integrated investigation and arrest of thieves. That's what it needs. You're going to have a commission of inquiry, spend billions of rands on it, you leave thieves here. Monies of the state have been embezzled here. Zondo Commission itself has got prima facie. So what we need here, we need prosecution, something like an infusion house when we're investigating uh, PPEs. That's what we need here. Commission to do what? <coughs> it's fine, we must comply with that because it's a judiciary commission. That's what we need. We'll look at that, and then the president will make up uh, his mind in relation to recommendations to parliament. But extra to that, you need an immediate focus so that we're able to address your question. Who is arrested? I can't address that question. I'm not a policeman. I'm not hawks, not prosecution. These people must be arrested who have done all these wrong things here at Prasa. We don't need a press conference. We need people in orange overalls. And they must account for what they did here. All right, Rofpua Matena, with that report, let's leave it there for now. All right, let's take you to